Spotlight is the BBC's regional TV news programme for the south-west of England, covering Cornwall, Devon, Isles of Scilly, southern and western Somerset, western Dorset and the Channel Islands. There is also a special version of the programme for viewers in the Channel Islands. It launched on 20 April 1961. The main version of the programme broadcasts between 1830 and 1900 on weekdays, with shorter bulletins at other times. The program can be viewed anywhere in the UK and Europe on Sky Channel 967 968 on the BBC UK Regional TV on satellite service. Its main competitors are ITV West Country's main evening program ITV News West Country in Cornwall, Devon, Isles of Scilly, Southern and Western Somerset and Western Dorset, and ITV Channel Television's main evening program ITV News Channel TV in the Channel Islands. Spotlight is broadcast from BBC Broadcasting House in Seymour Road, Plymouth, the headquarters of BBC Southwest. There are smaller studios in Barnstable, Exeter, Paynton, Taunton and Truro. History Although local radio had been broadcast from Plymouth as Station 2PY between 1924 and 1934, the first regional television program was not broadcast until 20 April 1961, just nine days before the rival ITV service from Westwood Television began broadcasting. At first a ten-minute bulletin called News from the South West was read by Tom Salmon, but in under a year it had doubled in length and had been renamed as South West at 6, hosted by Sheila Tracy. The name Spotlight was adopted on 30 September 1963. Those early radio broadcasts had been made from the Athenaeum Chambers in Athenaeum Lane in Plymouth, next to what became Westwood and TSW's headquarters, but just before the Second World War the BBC started looking for alternative premises. A Victorian villa named Ingledean in Seymour Road was bought from the Douglas family and this building has, as of 2012, remained the BBC's headquarters in the South West. It has been considerably extended over the years, including the addition of a new and larger television studio in 1974 in preparation for the conversion of Spotlight to color the following year. A replacement purpose-built broadcasting center on the opposite side of Sutton Harbour from the Barbican has been under construction since 2008 and was due to open in mid-2011, though it has since stalled due to the effect of the recession on the construction industry and a change in the original plans. In late 2012, the owner of the harbour expressed fears the move may never happen and admitted other parties had expressed an interest in moving to the site earmarked for the BBC. In 2013, the BBC confirmed that it was not moving to Sutton Harbour, and instead was refurbishing its existing Plymouth headquarters. A lighthouse motif has been in use within the programme's title sequences for many years until May 2000, when Spotlight adopted the generic BBC regional news design. The motif returned in May 2006, and the use of a lighthouse in the titles continued until the latest relaunch in June 2015. Presenters Reporters Topic: Former on-air team members. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> BBC Channel Islands. BBC Channel Islands is the dedicated opt-out service for the Channel Islands. Local news broadcasts for the islands began in the 1990s when a short bulletin aired following the nine o'clock news. Since October 2000, two evening bulletins have been broadcast at 6.30 p.m. and following the news at 10. Originally broadcast from a studio at the Fremont Point Transmitter, the news service is now entirely based at the studios of BBC Radio Jersey in St. Helier. The opt-outs are presented by Charlie McArdle and produced by a team of multi-skilling journalists who write, film and edit their own stories, as well as producing and directing the bulletins on weekdays. The main op takes up the first 12 minutes of the nightly 6.30 p.m. program with a full opt at 10.25 p.m. and a short 30-second update at 8 p.m. 
No op outs are broadcast during the day and at weekends, except for special occasions such as local elections or major sporting events such as the Island Games. Like other BBC enterprises in the Channel Islands, funding comes primarily from television licence fees collected within the islands. <laughs> 